All right, so let's go over how this uh, campaign eyes and how our floor-mounted panels, how these go together. Um, files are as follows. You've got the main channel is uh, going to be out of 8th inch, 50-52. going to bend that up. Uh, you got these little nuggets. Keep an eye out for these little nuggets, these little gussets for strength. Um, 090, keep an eye out for that. I uh, got the uh, 063 white white LED tray. These guys are here, half inch clear acrylic, uh, uh, 632 tapped. Um, the panels, three quarter inch clear acrylic. Um, we're going to hold off on these. We'll go over that in a minute. Uh, we're going to hold off on these until we get the final survey uh, because the height of these might be affected by where the actual bar mounts on the wall. So look out for the install pattern. So <clears throat> it's pretty, pretty easy. Um, you're just going to bend this up, make a channel out of it, uh, weld in the ends, and it's going to be basically a tray. We're going to have island fill um, reference marks here. So you're going to take these little gussets, and just like I have here, I have the steps one, two, three. You're going to take these little gussets and weld them in, um, and that's going to give some strength to this guy because this bar mounts to the wall as such. So we want to make sure we have maximum strength here. So you're going to weld in those gussets. And then after that, you're going to bend up these little um, angles here, these little channels, and those get lords inside. Uh, they just face inwards. So the three on this side face in, the other side faces in, the flanges do. Uh, you're just going to lords those into the bottom. And then the letter tray um, is its own separate thing that you'll screw in later after paint when it's time for assembly. But you're just going to take the face of this and you're just going to bend this and then lords and rivet these two together. So this part here will lords onto there and create the little little thing you see there. So lords and rivet that and we're all good. Um, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Um, and then once all that's handled, um, I brought in, oh, then you're going to bend this up here. LEDs go to this side. We did that test where making sure, so this green here is that is that angle thing you bent. The arrows will face up and make sure that the LEDs, we're going to use those strips. We're going to use the principal LED, um, just like all the other donor walls. Make sure that this goes right up against where this folds um, away from the wall. That way, it has the maximum light dispersal. So bend up that tray. It says LEDs this side, but the LEDs are actually, you know, on the on the outside of the angle. And then that will straddle where you have the gussets, and it'll actually just sit on the gussets there. Um, and then that gives maximum maximum wash on the on the wall. Do not put the LEDs up against the side here. And then you will have another run of principal LEDs on the inside those will correspond to the reference kisses. So on the inside of the letter panel here, right where the LEDs are there, you will have an, you'll you'll put LEDs here. Now you can just probably just run the strip all the way along, that's fine, whatever. Or just put the LEDs here and then solder a jumper. It's up to you, whatever you think works. Um, but that doesn't need to go any further than that. The idea is we're just lighting up the panels, just the top edge of the panels. So you'll have LEDs that run along inside here, and you'll have LEDs that run along the outside of right along here, right along the bend. Um, so LEDs this side, but it's actually on the other side of this, not on this actual side. It just means that they're on this flange, and you'll just put them right up against that bend. Um, when it comes time to assemble, um, I brought in some McMaster car, some number sixes. I have a uh, quarter inch and three sixteenths uh, length. So that way you don't have to do cut studs like, like, like we talked about. We want to keep it looking clean. So these should be long enough to just grab the, the threads. Um, if these don't work, then bring in something else. But I think that's that should be fine. So be on the lookout for these. Uh, these came in with the uh, acorn nuts for the living desert. So they are floating around. Um, so that'll be when it comes time for assembly. So as far as fab and assembly, that's it's it's as straightforward as it gets. 
Now the panels themselves, this is more for install, they're meant to just sit on the slab. So route and, and install need to figure this out. So as we discussed, uh, Jonathan had discussed, since these panels are just gonna sit on the slab, but there might be some issues of where this bar will actually mount. So we need to make sure that, that's, that we get a final mounting um, height from the floor. Um, and then we can adjust the height of the panels. But the way this is laid out, since the panels are eight foot max, these are routed at 95 and a half. And if we're only gonna have a half inch into the, 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 um, the little box here, then the, the bottom of this bar cannot be higher than 95 inches from the slab, not the carpet, not the tile, but from the slab itself where this thing's gonna sit um, but I think it would be wiser to like maybe bring it down an inch and then that way we can shorten this a little bit and we have that way we're, we're safe, but it can't go any higher than 95 inches because we, our material won't be long enough and it'll fall. And even at this point, we only have a half inch into the thing. So if this bows at all or anything, we might want to just bring this down so we can go over that. But again, this is sort of a production meeting kind of one last survey thing. So we want to make sure that wherever this bar ends up, because there might be some decorative stuff here that this bar has to go down even lower. So again, let's go over there. Let's measure from the concrete up. We'll get a number and then um, I'll be able to then we can release this to route. Um, these are at 95 and a half now, but we might want to bring these down an inch or something. So um, we need to do a final uh, survey. For whoever is putting the tile in or whatever we need to know there, the acrylic panels are four and a half inches on center away from the wall. So whatever the finalized wall thickness, if they put whatever treatment or decorative paneling or whatever on there, we come out four and a half inches uh, on center and that's where the panel will live. So um, whoever's doing that, um, they might do that after, who knows, but we can give that measurement to whoever needs it. Um, but I think that should clear it all up. Uh, again, if you have any questions or anything, hit me up. But uh, I suggest, you know, one last final in, um, survey install. And then that way we can get these panels routed to the proper height. Um, so otherwise, uh, if you have any questions, hit me up.